Dear students, welcome you all for today's class. In today's session, we are going to study about question tag. See how question tag is different from the question. Question tag is, is nothing but short questions, which is often placed at the end of the sentences. See, it is uh, purely depending on helping verb and uh, pronoun. You know, uh, you can see here. Uh, here are three question tags. Isn't it? Doesn't she? Shall we? So it is placed just by using helping verb uh, plus negative form plus pronoun. Similarly, um, the second one doesn't she here also we have a helping verb plus negative form plus she she here is used as a pronoun and third one is about shall we shall we here shall is used as a, a helping verb plus v here when the sentence is given in positive immediately we have to add particular sentence uh, by taking helping verb and we have to make the sentence into negative if there is positive sentence we have to make the tag into negative if the sentence contains negative form so uh, usually at the end we have to write it as positive so if there is positive we have to make negative if there is negative we have to make positive so that is the logic behind this question tag so let us study about question tag in detail see here question tags here you can come to know there are uh, 10 sentences so each sentence is having at the end question tag here you can understand this is what question tag is used at the end of uh, each sentences see you can understand this so let us read out uh, these one by one you love me don't you here don't you is used as question tag you can uh, identify something here what you can identify it's very clear to understand the first sentence you love me you love me see this is the first sentence here the sentence is in positive so positive sentence is given so when we convert or when we add to this sentence about question tag it becomes negative you can uh, observe here not form is used along with helping verb do form and you is used as pronoun at the end and ends with question mark see this is this is what question tag got it so let us study uh, in detail yes here we came to uh, the major thing it's about uh, format of question tags it's very very important to know if you know the format we'll come to know how question tag is used and what are the rules we have to follow say affirmative affirmative auxiliary verbs subject plus question tag this is nothing but formula that is used see here uh, say properly affirmative auxiliary verbs plus subject here is negative auxiliary verbs subjects so these things are very important to know so let me explain clearly remember the following facts during making question tags so when you are adding question tag we must follow these facts so the here are six points we have to focus on the main verbs such as go drink come if there is main verb like go drink come etc are not used to make question tags keep in mind it's very very important he writes a letter you can use question tag like don't write he so this kind of question tags are wrong so what is the right answer for this it is uh, he writes a letter doesn't he 
doesn't he is the right answer why because writes the sentence is given in third person singular right so you can identify here main verb right is used right plus yes yes is used just because of uh, third person singular the sentence this sentence is given in simple present tense and also third person singular he is used that's why writes so we have to take helping verb as does form just because of third person singular so along with does form here yeah, the sentence is given in positive form that's why we have to make the tag into negative got it negative by adding not not is used as short form so don't so helping verb do form along with the negative form so it becomes don't then what is the pronoun is used pronoun in the place of subject here is pronoun he so you write he as pronoun at the end and ends with question question mark so this is what question tag you can identify how a question tag is added to particular sentence here we didn't use capital letter keep in mind you cannot use capital letter while you are adding question tag to any other sentences then he does not drink milk does drink does drink he that is wrong how can you write he does not drink milk this is a sentence so does not not form is used because the sentence is in negative form we have to make it as positive we are taking out the does form out that is helping verb does and pronoun he does he question so this is the right answer for this then the second uh, rule is pronouns and their see pronoun pronoun is used instead of noun part so pronoun there are used as subject in question tags so always pronouns and there that that should be the sentence in tag then third one nouns are not used as subjects in question tags for example if the sentence is like he uh, writes a letter instead of writing he let me take here person's name raju writes a letter got it raju writes a letter so when we are adding question tag writes a letter raju writes a letter uh, third person singular that's why we have to take does form let me take does form at the end does does after the sentence is given in positive right positive and we have to make it as negative does doesn't got it doesn't immediately we have to focus on uh, pronoun here pronoun there is no pronoun but raju is used in the place of subject but we cannot write a noun form we have to write uh, instead of raju we can use a pronoun got it so we can write he at the end so this is what rule regarding this then fourth sentence the use of auxiliary verbs so auxiliary verbs is known as helping verb got it helping verb plus not negative is used in question tags depends on the number number it may be that uh, singular plural on the basis of singular and plural we have to use and person of the subject used in question tags or on the tense of given sentence for example in the place does we can also use did form got it so while we are uh, adding question tag what are the things we have to follow that is at first we have to focus on uh, auxiliary verb then sentence whether the sentence is given positive or negative 
then we have to focus on so which helping verb so which tense is used thereafter we can focus on pronoun whether it is subject uh, in the place of subject whether it is pronoun or noun so all these things we have to keep in mind when we are adding question tag if a question tag is used in the last last of a sentence the selection of auxiliary verbs of the question tag depends on the auxiliary verbs used in the sentences like i told you earlier question tag it is depending on auxiliary verbs so auxiliary verbs is used to add question tag it's very very important keep in mind at first we have to focus on auxiliary verbs then if an auxiliary verb is not used in a question tag in a sentence sorry in a sentence the auxiliary verbs do does and did are used in question tags according to need see suppose auxiliary verb is not used in a sentence so what we should have to do we have to use either do or does or did got it so do form is used if there is no auxiliary verb in a sentence so those so these uh, points are very important to know if you know these points you'll come to know how question tag is used at the end then a question tag a tag question is a short question see question tag is nothing but short question for example have you haven't you that follows a statement for example you haven't got a car a car have you you haven't got a car have you sir in this sentence you haven't got a car the sentence is in negative so the sentence is in negative and tag is positive you'll come to know haven't negative form is used but here negative form is not used and the tag is used in positive and have is helping verb we used along with that you is pronoun after this question tag say question mark so this is what question tag similarly the second sentence it was a good film here was is helping verb it is pronoun got it we have taken was out and the sentence is positive that's why we have to add negative to the helping verb was immediately we have to focus on pronoun and write and ends with question mark so this is the uh, method we have to write normally we use a positive question tag with a negative sentence see positive question tag negative sentence how negative sentence plus positive tag how tom won't be late so here it is will he see won't will plus not so it becomes won't so here question positive positive question tag i mean positive sentence for positive sentence we have to use negative similarly if the sentence contains negative we have to use positive tag so this is the logic behind this second one they don't like us do that so positive got it here is negative then that isn't dot over there is it is it here yeah, that is used as it keep in mind it's very important to know next and normally we use a negative question tag with positive sentence what i have explained earlier that is uh, come to know here positive sentence 
it becomes negative tag no if there is negative sentence positive if it is positive sentence negative tag keep in mind and will be here soon won't she see person's name and she got it tom should pass his exam shouldn't he tom name of the person but here is pronoun is used should plus negative they were very angry weren't they helping verb is were and we have added not negative form and they question tag so this is the way we have to form question tag how do we form question tags how it's very easy auxiliaries like be form have form can may must should and also we can take uh, do form do form also we can take it is used in the statement or reported at the end followed by the subject always a pronoun so subject is subject always carries pronoun it is placed at the end of the sentence say john was annoyed this is a sentence so sentence is given in positive and it is made negative see was is helping verb along with was negative is used and followed by he he is pronoun there at the end question tag so this is what question tag is used then he wasn't annoyed wasn't negative so here is positive was is helping verb is taking out along with pronoun and at the end question mark i'm late aren't i here this is what that exception this is not follow these rules so how it is different notice that we say aren't i that means that am i not keep in mind it's very very important because this is what nothing but exception it doesn't follow the rule next with all other verbs tags tag questions are formed with do or don't and does or doesn't present simple and did didn't past simple so tense is very important to know that if the present tense the tag will like does or doesn't or do or don't if it is simple past it becomes like did or didn't keep in mind you like fish don't you so like present tense simple present tense so do for me is used along with negative because the sentence is in positive and you is pronoun so written at the end and ends with question mark then they don't like fish do they because the sentence negative so in question tag positive he likes fish doesn't he see likes third person singular that's why does along with that negative is used because the sentence is in positive positive your tag is negative then she liked fish the tense look at the tense is used the tense form is positive uh, past simple so liked this is the clear indication we can take did form and the sentence is in positive we have to use negative that is not didn't she question mark at the end this is what question tag then this also applies to have and do as main verbs how it is if sentence like you have tea at four see here have is used as a main verb the same time helping verb but 
we have to decide if have form is used along with V3, that is what? Perfect tense. But if there is no V3, so have is used as main verb. So we have to locate a tense form on the basis. We have to use do form. Got it? So immediately you can try to do if the sentence is in present tense. So simple present. So do form you can use. And the sentence is in positive. You can make it as negative. Got it? You did your homework. Here also did is main verb. We can take did as a helping verb. Did, didn't because of positive. So it becomes negative. Didn't you. Next. Tag questions are also possible with there. So how it is? There will be a strike. Won't there? Will. Will plus not plus there. Question mark. What you have to write is will plus not. It becomes won't. Then there is used. At the end, question mark. That is what? Question tag. Next, here are sentences. There are 12 sentences. What we have to do is we have to add suitable question tag. Look at the sentence. He is late this morning. So, helping verb is she. Then, the sentence is in positive. That's why we have to use negative. Isn't. The pronoun is he. Isn't he. Isn't he. We have to write isn't he here. Attentive towards here. The hotel was quite good. So, hotel was quite good. So, helping verb here is was because of ten because of uh, sentence we have to write negative form wasn't wasn't it because of singular it wasn't it she cooks well because of third person singular and tense is simple present we have to write does form does and also positive here becomes negative doesn't she doesn't she next you can't tell the difference see can is used as helping verb can because of negative we can write it as positive can you next they always sleep after lunch because of tense present tense the sentence is used in simple present so do form we can take and also number is in plural form do form you can take do and one more thing you can keep in mind the tense uh, that sentence is in positive we have to make it as a negative don't you can write don't don't they don't they next you are coming with us you are coming with us here are is used <coughs> you can take at the end are because of sentence positive sentence aren't aren't you aren't you then mary plays football plays so uh, tense present simple and also third person singular that's why you can use does form does doesn't because of positive sentence doesn't mary 
girl. She doesn't she. You didn't have any lessons this morning. Didn't. Helping verb. And uh, have is used. Here have is main verb. Because of did. We can take a helping verb. Here is date. And. Past tense. That's why did. Then. The sentence is in negative. We can. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, negative. That's why. We can make it as positive here. Did. Did you. You didn't have any lessons this morning. Did you. So question mark is added here. That's why I didn't add. And is on holiday. Is. Helping verb. And name of the person. She. Right. Isn't. Isn't. She. The students see it every day. Students, plural form. And tense is in present simple. So, you can take here is do form. Do. Do. Because of positive sentence, we have to make it as negative don't don't the number look at the number the students got it don't that next mr Priestley. Priestley doesn't know your father does for me is used does helping verb does because of negative sentence, we have to use positive tag. Does Mr. Priestley person, right? So, does he? Does he? Next, last one. There are lots of cars here. R is helping verb. R is helping verb. Aren't. Aren't. Aren't there. Aren't there. Question mark at the end. For uh, 12th one, you have to write here as aren't there. That is the right answer for this sentence. So, I hope you came to know how question tag is used. Thank you so much for listening. Have a nice day.